hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to make this three in one rouge cow neck dress so it's a very simple tutorial and it's a dress that you can wear in three different ways so to make this dress you need to know how to draft a cow neck pattern you need to know how to draft a basic skirt pattern okay and i've done all of this tutorial so all i need you to do right now is just to look at the link i've dropped at the top of this video there's a link there for you to follow okay so i have drafted um, a cow neck pattern before okay so just look upwards you see the link there on how to draft a cow neck top so this is my cow neck top pattern here. I've added my seam allowance to the top, the um, shoulder slant, and of course the armhole. Okay, so make sure you click on, on, the, on the link upwards. Then this is the back pattern here. I've added my seam allowance to the um, armhole and the neckline, and of course the lower parts of the dress. Okay, so like I said, uh, you can click on the link and I'll also drop it in the description box now this is also my um, pencil skirts here I've also dropped the link on how to draft a pencil skirt I've done that before okay so the main aim of this tutorial is to you know add the ruches to it and then for you to be able to convert it to a short dress a three-quarter or a long skirt a long dress okay so now i'm just prepping my fabric I'll, I'll be starting with the back pattern so the first thing is i have my fabric and line in here the same fabric i'll go ahead and sew my dart on the back piece okay then for the front you know for your cow neck pattern the facing is cut together with the um, blouse yeah the facing and the the blouse are cut together okay so just open the description box you see all the links there okay so first thing i'm going to notch the point where the facing and the neckline um meets at that point there then i'll take off my pattern then i'll just fold in slightly and um, i'm going to pin this down and i'll also pin the second side so like i said i have done the basic body tutorial the cow neck pattern the pencil skirt pattern i've done all of this before in a very detailed um video so just click on the link there so i'm also pinning um the second part here okay like so and um i'm just trying to secure all, everything in place so after sewing this is how the cow neck is going to look like you see that yeah so let's continue with our sewing tutorial so i will also go and do a roll them for my um, face in there so that my fabric is not frilling so I'll just roll it quarter of an inch twice okay so i'm done so this is my back piece i've ironed it out i've sewn my darts okay you can see and uh, this is the second back piece here serving as a lining okay so i use the same fabric as my lining so this is one part of the back okay and um this is my second back piece and um, of course um the lining okay okay this is my second back piece here and the lining okay now i'll just go ahead now to so now i'll be joining the front and back together at the shoulder you can see that i've done my rolls in for the facing see there just roll it quarter of an inch twice so i'm going to pin my shoulder back at that point where we notched okay so i'm just going to pin it together as a good dressmaker you should always work with your pins it's very very crucial so i'm just pinning together like this So now that I've pinned it together, I'm just prepping it, you know, to sew it with the back piece. But before I sew with the back piece, I will go ahead to turn my back neckline, fabric and lining together, just here, half inch seam allowance. Okay, and then I'll just flip over. Then after I do that, I'll be joining into the um, shoulder on the front. And then same thing for 
um the second back piece here i'll just go ahead and turn the neckline with half inch seam allowance okay then i'll just join um the front and back together at the shoulder okay so this is one shoulder you place it on one part of the back and this is the second shoulder you place it on the second um back piece okay so now after sewing you're going to have something like this so make sure you press every step of the way okay so um all done nice and clean now i would go and join my front and back piece together at the shoulder okay so front and back together at the shoulder i will join with um one inch side seam allowance there and um the other part here the other side of my um, bodice i'll also join with one inch side seam allowance there all right so while progressing we're progressing okay so this is my body this is ready this is my body here so i'll just set it aside for my pencil skirts because it's a free dress i didn't add any darts to my skirts okay i didn't add any that to my i didn't add that to my skirt so basically i'll just be joining the front and back together the sides for my skirts and it is on the skirt that will be creating the ruches okay so um um back and front will be sewn together on the sides okay okay guys so I will be joining the front and back together at the sides, right, with one inch side seam allowance. So let me just do that. Now, after joining it, this is what you're going to have here. I've joined my um, front and back together at the shoulder. Okay. Now, next, we're going to be creating a casing for our ruches. Okay. So, um, and the casing will be placed on the side seam. So, this is how the skirt looks like. So for the ruches, you're going to be cutting out a very long piece of fabric and the length of that fabric is going to be the length of your skirts. Okay, this is the length of the fabric here. So, um, and then the width of this casing is going to be about um, 1.5 inch or 1.75 inches. Okay, so this is the width here. The width and you must have folded in your um, seam allowance which is half inch on both sides so after folding in your seam allowance what you should have is that 1.5 or 1.75 you can see that and the length is the length of the skirt so it should be more than so you can trim off any um, excesses okay so I'm going to place that casing now on one side of my skirts you know on the side seam one side you know the joining between the front and the back so I'm going to place the casing I'm going to zoom in my camera so that we can see okay so there I would place my casing like so make sure um, the center of the casing is you know on the side seam there so I will place it like this and then I'll sew at the edges all the way down and all the way down okay now before you do this you should do um, a rolled M for your skirts you should have hem the skirts okay before you do this so I will just go ahead and you repeat the same process on the other side of the skirts too on the other side so I'll just do that and show us the outcome okay so I have um, sewn the casing to my skirt you can see the stitches there then I'm going to sew, sew another straight stitch, okay, at the center, at the center of the casing. I'll just, let me just put the fabric well. Okay, so I'll be sewing um, at the middle of the casing, a straight line. So I'll just sew all the way down, okay? Yeah, so after you've sewn it, I want to believe we can see the line i sew you can see it there okay so next thing is you're going to be sewing um tiny ropes two of them since we have two casings now two of them so two on each side of the skirts 
and the ropes should be as long if I, a bit longer than the skirts it should be longer than the skirt itself okay so I'm going to use my um, um, safety pin to pass the ropes you know inside the casing so I'll just place my safety pin like this and then I'll start passing it from the um, lower part of my skirt and then for the skirt for the casing you know you should have done the roll then before placing the casing on top okay so I'll just use my safety pin to pass the um, rope now I have two casings so I'll pass the first one and pass the second one okay okay guys so I have Pass um, the first one. Now I'll be passing the second one. I told us there are two um, ropes on each side of the skirt, so I'll just pass it, and then this is what you're going to have. Now you have to use your pins to secure the ropes at the top on the waistline of the skirt. There, depending the time you're going to fix your bodies to the dress. Okay, so my skirt is ready now. I'm going to place my bodies you know waistline to waistline the bodies and the skirts together so i'll just sew it all together so now that i've done that next thing for me is to fix my sleeve you can see the rush is there okay so um on the other side too now i'm going to fix my sleeve if you don't know how to draft a basic sleeve i would also drop the link in the description box or somewhere up on the video there so I'll go ahead and fix my sleeves, okay, then um, the center back, there is no slit, there is no slit, so um, just sew here and then go ahead to fix your zipper. So this is the outcome of the dress, it's so lovely, okay, and I suggest to use a stretch, a, a, you know, crepe material that is a bit stretchy, okay, it's better. But I did the plain crepe material. Yeah, so this is how the dress looks like. You could actually wear it as a long dress, a three-quarter dress, or a short dress. So it's a very simple tutorial. I hope you learned one or two things. Do not forget to subscribe, share, like, and leave your comments. Okay, so don't forget. If you don't know how to draft all those topics I mentioned, it will be dropped in the description box or somewhere up on this video. Thank you.